beginning with verse 1 of Isaiah 6. I will not read through the 8th verse at this time, but prayerfully before I sit down, we will cover these verses. So let's begin at verse 1. Here is what it says. In the year that King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two, they covered their faces. With two, they covered their feet. And with two, they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pillars on the threshold shook at the voices of those who called. And the house was filled with smoke. I want to preach this morning as the Holy Spirit shall guide from the subject when the house is filled with smoke. When the house is filled with smoke. This passage is so powerful as is all of scripture. But when we hear the way this passage starts out, it gives us to know that God is having a conversation with a young man who was successful in his work and was working under a successful king. Young Isaiah was working in the courts of the prophet Josiah. Josiah was a man who ruled faithfully, listening to the guidance of God as how he would have him treat the people or subjects in his kingdom. <laughs> I say parenthetically that it's always good when the leader of anything know who God is. Oh, how wonderful it is when the leader of a nation knows who God is. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I thank God that my physicians, you know, some folks got so much holy ghost they don't even want to go to the doctor. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. Well, I'm going to tell you, I believe Amen. that God can do anything. Yes, sir. Amen. But if you think that your pastor is not going to the doctor, you got another thought coming. But it's a good 
nothing. But my position allows me to know that he or she believes in the Lord God Almighty. Amen. Amen. I feel better <coughs> taking uh, her prescription when I know that she depends on uh, a doctor who did not attend the same medical school that she did. Amen. I feel better that he has to perform a procedure on me knowing that he knows the one who has the power to create simply by his word. You would remember in the beginning God said that it was so. And God said that it was so. And the scriptures in Genesis are replete with God said that it was so. There's no argument between Your 
You don't mind me going back to another old song, don't ask me to sing it out. But if I kept you high, uh -huh. if I kept you high, Lord, I used to hear the song in my church back home. If I get too high, Lord, please bring me down. You see, sometimes we start believing our own press and we get beside ourselves. No matter what your profession is, even if it's ministry, sometimes preachers get all messed up because one too many person has told them that he or she is a good preacher. Well, Nicodemus said that he was looking for the good teacher. And Jesus said, why do you call me good? There is none good but the Father. I want to tell you that somebody wrote a long time ago. There is so much good in the world. Everything see. 